I wanted to replicate a T-bar row here using resistance bands. I gotta tell you, this was a pretty sweet movement. I got those muscles working. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Today is Friday, May 27th, 2022. And today I'm going to bring you a pretty sweet at-home back workout. It's going to be some body weight movement, pull-ups, some resistance band movements, and one dumbbell movement. Not a whole lot of volume, but it's kind of intense, or you can make it as intense as you want it. So let me show you what I did, and then we're going to catch back up in a few minutes, like always, wrap it all up. Let's go do this thing. And off we go with today's home back workout. Now I'm gonna start this workout with pull-ups. These pull-ups are gonna be the core, the nucleus of today's back workout. I set a goal to do 50 pull-ups in as few a sets as possible with one minute rest between. So I would do sets to failure, rest one minute, jump right back up there. And this is the end of my first set here. I think I, matter of fact, I know I squeezed out 20 here, which was an excellent way to start. So my goal was to do this in four sets if I could today. That would be a record for me. I've never done it in four sets with one minute rest between. But I'll tell you a little story. When I was in middle school here in the States, eighth grade is what it was. We had this thing called the Presidential Physical Fitness Award. And what we would do twice a year, we would do several things, some running events, jumping and such. And if you met a certain requirement, you could uh, get this Presidential Physical Fitness Award. Well, I wanted one of those things terribly bad. and uh, But when I was in eighth grade, I could do zero pull-ups and I remember jumping up there to attempt my pull-ups and being humiliated by that and I just told myself then that is never going to happen again so that summer I set up a broomstick in a maple tree in our backyard and just started doing pull-ups and there was a time when I was in high school I could do 30 pull-ups so I have loved pull-ups ever since. They're my friend. They're my back day friend. So, 50 pull-ups in four sets. Nice way to start. Okay, now we're going to move into some resistance band work. Six sets. I'm going to start with this particular movement here. I've got the band set up in the door frame there. Actually, an eye bolt, but you can put it in the door. I've got it set up right about shoulder height, maybe a little lower. And what I want to replicate here is a T-bar row, or at least hit the muscles, activate the muscles a T-bar row would, by pulling my elbows back and focusing the contraction on the rear delts, the traps, the rhomboids, and to a degree, the upper lats. And what I was focusing on here today was on both of these sets. I think I did sets of 12 or 13, but basically it was to failure. I, want to, I wanted to focus on the contraction. Slow tempo. Contraction. Hold that contraction right there. Keep the tension on the whole time. Now we're going to move into another two sets of lat pulls. I've got the band set up at the base of the door this time and I get me a good starting resistance here. That's important with these resistance bands. Get a good starting resistance so that on that eccentric right there you don't really lose the tension. You keep the tension on the whole time. Now here I guess we're going to call these like low pulls, low lat pulls using resistance bands. Focusing on the lats and 
I could feel it when I was contracting. I could feel the lats contracting. But I also felt this, again, in my upper back, my traps, my rear delts, that area there, mid-back. But I did get some trap work, I mean lat work in. But I did get a, a lot of lat work with the pull-ups. So this was a good whole back movement here. Two sets of 12 to 13 to failure, focusing on a slow tempo, full contraction, mind-muscle connection on what we're trying to do, what muscles we're trying to hit. Okay, the last two sets of resistance band work today are going to be more rear delt centric. I did this, I did a test with this particular movement on my last home shoulder workout. And here I wanted to replicate um, maybe a reverse rear pec deck or dumbbell rear delt flies. And uh, this band replicates both of those movements perfectly and it really hits the rear delts. I could feel them burning and this worked just as I had hoped. Two sets of 15 to 18, but two sets to failure essentially. These things were beautiful. Got to remember them. Okay, so I finished up today's back workout with two sets of single arm dumbbell rows. And to be honest with you, I wasn't feeling this too well today. I didn't just couldn't seem to get a groove in this in this movement today, but I still did two sets of 12 reps with my 55 pound dumbbell. Basically what I did was, since I don't have a bench, I just kind of leaned over at about a 45 degree angle, put my off hand on my knee, and just did a dumbbell row with the work arm, focusing on pulling my elbow back and contracting that whole total area from the rear delt all the way down to the lat. This was, all in all though, a great back workout. Got a lot of work done, really did, and it was worth it. It's a good one. Alrighty, there it was. Back day, home back day for Friday, May 27th, 2022. It's pretty sweet, I think. Uh, but any back workout that has a lot of pull-ups in it, I'm digging it. So, pull-up heavy. Uh, six sets of resistance band work that was focused on time under tension, uh, deliberate tempoed, tempoed movement, focusing on the contraction at the top of the movement where the muscles fully shortened in a slow eccentric move back, keeping that muscle under tension the whole time. That's the beauty of resistance bands. You can keep that movement under tension the whole time. And you can make that as intense as you like. Um, and then uh, we've rounded the workout out with two sets of dumbbell rows, single arm dumbbell rows. Pretty sweet workout. I liked it. It worked. Uh, so that's it for today. Um, just going to go about whatever else I got to do, get some food in me, and uh, carry on. So I just want to say thank you for being here. Much appreciated. And while you're here, hit that like button for me. That'd be awesome. While, you, while you're clicking, might as well click that subscribe button. Come join our group. Love to have you here. Um, like I said, that's it for today. So I guess with that, I will say, be nice to everyone. And until next time, go get them. Mark out.